Kia ora everyone, it's Nathan Rose from Intergen here in beautiful Auckland, New Zealand. This week we need to talk about career advice that our mentors provide us that we seldom act upon. I recently reread Never Split the Difference. This is a book by former FBI hostage negotiator Chris Voss that has become the absolute Bible for modern negotiation techniques and is a must read for anyone looking to improve their communication skills. At the start of the book, Voss shares how he became a hostage negotiator in the FBI. He mentions that as a newly minted agent, he approaches the head of the FBI's hostage negotiation team and tells her that he'd like to join. Now picture a grizzled, overworked FBI agent who doesn't have time for this. She tells Voss to get lost. Voss persists. The agent asks him, do you have previous law enforcement experience, hostage negotiation experience, or even just an advanced degree in psychology? Voss answers no to all three. She tells him to stop bothering her. Voss persists. This agent gets the idea that Voss isn't going to go away unless she gives him something. So she says, I'll tell you what, if you want to be a hostage negotiator, go spend the next year volunteering on the New York City suicide crisis hotline. And he does. For the next year in his spare time, Voss volunteers at, on the phones at the suicide crisis hotline. And a year later, he runs into this agent. They're having a chat. He mentions that he's taken her up on her advice. They swap a few stories about mutual acquaintances at the hotline. Then this agent pauses. She's stunned. She says, you know what? I have given that same advice to every single person who's approached me for a role on the hostage negotiation team. And you're the first person who's actually done it. So I tell you what, the next available role, provided you still want it, it's yours. And the rest is history. Now, this completely struck me because it made me realize over the course of our careers in Dynamics 365 and the Power Platform, we will encounter many mentors who will tell us exactly how they got where they are in their careers, and yet we don't do what they tell us. I'll share another example. Thriller novelist Brad Thor mentioned in an interview that he stopped taking meetings with friends of friends who want advice about how to become an author because he said, I realized most of these people will never write a single word. And by meeting with them, I'm just wasting their time and mine. I'm not helping them. So the big idea is this. As you encounter mentors in your career, they're going to tell you how they got where they are. And it behooves you, it behooves me to actually act upon what they tell us. I'll share a personal example. I recently completed Mark Smith's 90 Day Dynamics 365 Mentoring Challenge. The first assignment Mark gave us was to improve our communication skills. And he said, the way you do that is you join Toastmasters. And the first thing that went through my mind was, Toastmasters? I don't want to do that. But you know what? Mark's a phenomenal communicator. Mark has the type of career that I want to emulate. So you know what? If joining Toastmasters is what Mark had to do to get where he is, and if that's where I want to be, then maybe that's what I need to do as well. So I've joined Toastmasters, and we'll see how it goes. So that's the big idea about career advice and acting upon it, as illustrated in Never Split the Difference by Chris Voss. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this was helpful.